Hello and welcome to Great Garment Graphics Online. I'm Mel Mybers, and in this video we will create a team uniform using Easy Team Designer in CADWorksLive.com. You'll see on the screen right now that we are in CADWorksLive.com. We'll begin by going to create a team uniform. Now we are in Easy Team Designer. And to take a little tour here, we only have four tabs to choose from. Start, Style, Options, and Output tabs. And we'll begin here with the Start, and we're going to create a player combination. This brings up my player combination, and in here we're going to list some names. And we'll separate the name and number with a comma. And there we have Team Great Garment Graphics. Say OK. And on the left here, you can see there, here are the names and the numbers. We can create to a maximum of 100 names and numbers. And on the screen now, you'll see it, MyBurst 45 in plain block here. What we're going to do is go to our style now, our second tab. And we can now edit the name and number. So we're going to edit the name. I will give it a 3 inch. We'll change the font to a varsity. And the varsity is towards the end here, so I'm just going to go right to the very end and select varsity. Say OK. And now we're going to edit the numbers. Go over here, just get under the Style tab. And we're going to give it a size of 10 inches. We'll give it a font of a varsity. So again, I'm just going to go right to the very end and select Varsity. And say OK. Here's my name and number, and you can see down here in the bottom here, these are your sizes. So I do have a 3 inch number, and a 10 inch, I'm, I'm sorry, 3 inch name, and a 10 inch number. And this is the size of the combination together. So I'm going to go to options here, we're going to change some things just to show you. And under options here, I can change it depending on what part of the country you're from, or you can change it to millimeters, to centimeters, to points, whatever you're used to working with. And also with the name and number combination, the name and number gap, that's the distance between the name and the number here is one inch. We can change that to, let's just change it to 0.5. And now you can see that's much closer here. It helps save on material. Uh, might look a little bit nicer on depending on the jersey you're going on to. And we also have smart sizing here, which you can select here. This is jersey size, extra large, large, uh, medium, and small. So it'll give you the size on that if you wish to use that option. And we also have an output. But before we do that, we're going to go back to our style tab. And we're going to change that to a two color. Now this brings up our editor again, our, our font editor. And the way I we do this, we add another um, color to it. We can go to Add Effect. And this brings up all my different options here. So we're going to go to Contour. And we'll just select one of the contours here. And we're going to go to the outside. So I'm going to give that a, a separate color here. We'll make that red. And then we're going to say OK. Now, you can see where the, because of the background now, the letters are actually touching. If you want to separate that, one of the easiest ways of doing it is going back to edit our name. 
and in here this is under the font option here we're going to go to character spacing here and give it a value in this case we'll give it a value of 0.35 say OK and you can see it separated the letters a little bit that looks pretty good now we're going to go in and change our 45 to a two color and we do the same thing we're going to go to add effect go to contour select the same contour so you'll have the same distance around the design to the outside and we're going to go change that to red and say OK now one of the things it did when I made it a two color job if we need to have three inch lettering you can see down here it's 3.24 so in order to correct that we can go into edit our name style and on the size here because you can see that it's it is three inches but with that extra color the two, second color on there it made it a little bit larger that we can change that to 2.75 but actually going to make it 7.6 in this instance and we'll show you why in a moment here say OK now you can see that that name is three inches on that I was going to bring it down because of the size of the lettering and it, what it was I had to bring it down um, a little bit almost a quarter of an inch or three quarters of an inch so now on the number I'm going to do the same thing go back to the number and we're going to make that nine point seven six say okay so now my name is a three inch in height and my number is again 10 inches in height and making the combination 13.5 in, in height so and then we'll look at the other names here the boil which should be exactly the same and you can see the same size and also the Dwyer and again we're at the 3 inch on the name and 10 inch on the number now we're ready to go to our options and uh, again under options here again I can change the distance between the name and the number if I wish I can use smart sizing or I can go right to our output remember you only have four tabs to work with so in our output now I'm ready to send it to vector cut I can send it out as a PLT file if I want to send it to a different program or I can save my project so there's our name and number again you can create up to a hundred uh, name and numbers and uh, hope this helps and if you have any further questions you can contact me at greatgarmentgraphics.com thank you